As the container vessel APL Boston leaves the Chinese port of Chiwan and gets underway towards Singapore, the seafarers on board have an extra measure of protection. Maritime transport accounts for as much as 80% of world trade. Today, some 1.5 million seafarers work and live on ships worldwide. Life at sea has its risks and hazards. Many seafarers are far from home for months and face a working environment that often include dangerous weather, cultural or ethnic isolation, long shifts, and little opportunity for shore leave. They are also vulnerable to exploitation. Seafarers have experienced abuse, charging of fees for finding employment, non-payment of wages, breach of contracts, poor food supplies, unhygienic living spaces, and even abandonment in foreign ports. The Maritime Labour Convention 2006 aspires to change all this. The MLC 2006 sets out rules and standards for the working and living conditions of seafarers worldwide, while at the same time ensuring a fair business environment for ship owners. It is changing the lives of seafarers like Dinesh, the third officer on the APL Boston. At sea, I normally wake up at around 7 o'clock and then I go up. Get, get, uh, get ready and go for my breakfast. And after breakfast, 8 o'clock, my daily work starts. 8 o'clock will be my watch, navigation watch from 8 to 12. After 12, I break out for my lunch. Then again, 1, one o'clock, I go for my daily maintenance work. Under the terms of the MLC 2006, standards for Dinesh's wages, annual paid leave, repatriation, medical care and social security benefits are spelled out in his contract, known as the Seafarers Employment Agreement, or SEA. Ship owners are also required to ensure decent working and living conditions on board in accordance with the detailed standards of the convention. I am doing the normal maintenance, checking the condition of nozzles and hydrants inside accommodation. It's one of the normal practice normal maintenance, easy to close back, easy to switch over to nozzle, jet mode and spray mode. Nowadays we got e -pop. ships going here and there, you can get the help from the other ship, you can communicate, we got portable VHF, SAT, all, all GM equipment we have, so it can easily, once we have interest us, Definitely, the distance signal within 15 minutes it can be reached. Uh, show. Anand is fourth engineer. His job involves working with the engine and handling chemicals, oil, and fuel bunkering. Everything is done according to procedure. Um, check the oil level, clean the filters so that the pressure again is good and, uh, and ensures the normal running. And on purifiers, there's there's routine maintenance like set period hours that you have to do it, open up and clean, and that is fixed. The MLC 2006 also seeks to ensure that all possible measures are in place to guarantee accident prevention and the safety protection of the crew. Every month we have to conduct the departmental safety meeting uh, with the, all the officers and crew. Do, during the, this department safety meeting, what I really want to deliver is the, uh, the behavior, the base safety they should have. So we try to deliver the message to them to we want to achieve. We discuss with the crew and the junior officer about any injury, accident, incidents they reported to the company that we share among us, then we try to uh, prevent not to happen on board our ship. The MLC 2006 sets very specific standards about the maximum hours of work and the minimum hours of rest that may be applied on board. Work schedules must be posted and seafarers must be given copies of daily records of hours worked. That's important to Hoven, one of the ship's cooks. Now we have go through the training, so the, before you go sailing, the shipper must do training and then have a quality, and then also the rest hour. So the important is the rest hour also. 
quality of living conditions and recreation during the off hours is also emphasized under the MLC 2006. So I'll make sure that I have, they have a proper recreational on board the ship, like what we use, we're having here on board. We have a full gym equipment on board the ship, pool tables. We have a lot of games like bingo, horse racing. And then they're also enjoying all kind of other facilities like accommodations, good quality food. Now, MLC enforced so people will get more safer working environment and more rest hour so that uh, they are, when they are working, they are fresh so they, they are not fatigued so that they can perform a much safer job. Besides ensuring modern standards for occupational safety and health, the MLC 2006 also guarantees an effective complaint handling procedure that is open to everyone on board. It's very transparent nowadays for seafarers. Now we have a, like a, we call things like a complaint procedures. If any crew, they come and look for us, things, they have their right to complain about anything on board the ship, including their living condition, food, water, wages, anything, they can go and see the head of department. Once they discuss, discuss with the head of department, then the head of department will bring the matter to me, then I'll try to solve the matter on board the ship. If I'm unable to solve them, then I'll bring to the my company. So that's the one thing good about the MLC. Every commercial vessel of 500 gross tons or more on international voyages now carries a maritime labor certificate, showing compliance with standards set out in the MLC 2006, and a declaration of maritime labor compliance, prescribing concrete measures to implement those standards on a particular ship. They both relate to every aspect of work and living conditions on board. Certification of labor conditions on board ships, properly enforced through port state control measures, promised to change the culture of seafaring. For me, I started off with old ships and now, you know, this transition has really been, really been comforting. So I feel this is the best that I can, I can be with. I, I feel, I feel the, I feel what, what uh, the, the good spirit that comes between us that is developed among the crew really helps us in, in our work and uh, really I guess it's a motivation um, to you know keep going on because uh, this as a sea we are all in an isolated group so we need to keep up our security. As a master you should keep the ship safe and happy so that all the crew will be happy working with you. With MSC you can do things like you must make sure the people on board have adequate rest, comply with the rest hour period law, and not overwork. This may ensure that there's a safety of their life. MS is a good thing, which is happening to seafarers now. It's good because now with the MSC, I know all my crew members are medically fit, properly trained, and certified. As the APL Boston ends its journey, the seafarers on board know the real difference the Maritime Labour Convention 2006 is about to bring to their daily lives, putting their job security, health and safety, and well-being in the centre of labour protection, nationally and internationally. <laughs>